Well, Mike, this uh, U.S. is calling the items the second tranche. And let's go through some of the items really focused on. There are actually hundreds, mainly for industrial and manufacturing use. Now, among them, more iron, steel, and aluminum products that do include towers, masts, beams, and girders, aluminum, stranded wires and cables. In addition, railway freight cars, passenger coaches, and tramways, road tractors for semi-trailers, and the list goes on to include motorcycles and mopeds. The items targeted could also be used in manufacturing by U.S. companies. And critics say when it comes to a global economy, trying to punish one nation with tariffs can often lead to collateral damage. For example, many U.S. soybean farmers right now say they are among the first casualties in the trade war. President Donald Trump recently proclaimed that he has the backing of American farmers despite the adverse impact. Trump says he is punishing China for a massive trade deficit with Beijing, and Trump believes the harsh tariffs will protect U.S. industries and help alleviate what he sees as a trade distortion. Many experts in the United States, China, and a lot of other nations as well say there will be no winners in a trade war. Consumers and the global economy, they say, stand to lose the most, Mike. And China, of course, uh, is saying it's going to retaliate in kind. So what's the latest on that? Yeah, it's interesting because we've heard people talk about China having a very restrained reaction so far. Initially, the United States imposed tariffs on some $34 billion worth of Chinese goods. Well, China quickly retaliated, slapping tariffs on U.S.-made items totaling $34 billion. But the Trump administration is preparing to do more, even as these new tariffs kick in starting on August 23rd. As you said, Mike, the U.S. president is considering raising the duties on an additional $200 billion in Chinese goods from 10 to 25 percent. The final word on that proposal is expected the first week in September. In response, China is preparing a list of tariffs of its own, ranging from 5 to 25 percent on some $60 billion in U.S. goods. That is if the Trump administration follows through on its increase. China has maintained the trade war is counterproductive to both nations and is urging the U.S. to resolve issues through negotiations or through the WTO. While Trump has boasted on Twitter that the U.S. is winning the trade war, China has said time and again it will not be bullied by U.S. tactics, delivering an emphatic, there are no winners in such a battle.